Hello and welcome to this brand new must watch show if I may add if you have any queries on what course to study and where or need help as you apply for your dream job remember this is the place that is going to help you here are the experts that are going to get that dream job within reach it's all possible we're going to try and get your concerns addressed and queries answered so that you can have all that you ever wanted you can tweet us or even send us your messages on our online page remember if it matters to you it matters to us Our big focus it's a dream for lakhs of students around the country to crack the prestigious JEE or engineering exam and make it to some of India's top institutions of course uh, among them right on top the IIT students spend years preparing most after class 10 to try and fulfill this great engineering dream the first exam in fact was conducted way back in 1960 so what is it about uh, engineering that has so many takers let's find out Lakhs of students hard at work on their big engineering dream preparing for the joint entrance examination that allows them to take admission into the top engineering colleges of the country the challenge is not just cracking this exam but also ensuring they get good marks in their class 12 board examinations and studying for the two of them together is no easy task it has been 2 uh, years since i have been preparing and since then i have been giving uh, i have been given about at most 5 hours a day Isn't two years a lot of time? Ideally, a person can prepare for the JEE in eight months, but that eight months should be devoted to JEE only. But uh, we decided to study for two years so that we can take things slow and steady. There's a myth among people that uh, if you're preparing for JEE, you have to be locked up in a room and study for whole day. But this is not so. You can crack JEE even if you study three to four hours a day. Many students begin to study for the exam as early as class 10 in coaching institutes across the country and they are clear on why this means so much to them. Basically I am giving this exam so that I can test myself in an unknown situation with the known approach. Like when we give JE advanced test all the questions are new they are unknown to us but we know the approach how to tackle them. I think that I have come first so far that I won't be able to go back. Okay. This is the only thing I should do. Engineering or nothing. And for those of you who want to know the top tips on how to crack this one exam, we'll hear it from the experts. There are two things that they need to keep in mind. Number one, uh, they have to write the board examinations, and since board has a weightage for selection into the NITs. they have to focus on the boards also probably 15 to 20 days before the board examination the students should sit from 10:30 in the morning to 1:30 and take a mock test at home in the boards 80% of the paper is repeated from last years so the effectiveness during those 3 hours of examination is what matters now when i come for engineering they should not be worried about the 11th syllabus right now they have to focus on the 12th syllabus in the competitive examination since every question has equal weightage so it is important that you read the paper for the first 5 minutes first choose the easiest questions mark them in the paper do them first because your final score matters choose whatever is easier in the paper on that day that is what is important and if you score more than 60 65% in these tests you'll get a fairly decent rank Well you've heard from the experts on what it takes but what about someone who has cracked the exam in fact did really well Chandan here uh, studying computer science first day at IIT Delhi Chandan thanks so much for coming in the big thing that of course keep hearing is it's such a difficult exam how do you crack it can you help us with tips so for all those watching who want to looking at you and want to be in in your your shoes soon what are the top 3 things that you say matter hard work is the most important thing and uh, be dedicated towards it don't quit is the second thing mm. uh it's two years of journey and uh whenever you start if you are really dedicated and you are doing hard work you can really i mean continue mm. you can really get into iit you did a lot of hard work yourself you're from lucknow you went to study for two years in kota you did your class yeah. 11th and 12th from there how did that really help you what about kota really sets it apart what why, why is the same kind of coaching not available all over the country what did you feel The thing in Kota is uh, basically that uh, the the main focus is on uh, JE thing. Mm. Like when we are in Kota, uh, we are, we have friends, uh, all of our friends and all of our hostel mates mm. are doing the same thing. 
So uh, the the atmosphere, the aura right. there. Uh, there's one common goal, and everyone's working yeah, towards it. Yeah, right. And there's a mutual competition, hmm. and all these things uh, help us to uh, crack JEM and hmm. get into the hmm. exam, get through it. What is it like? You're talking about being with friends, but is is it sort of all work and no play? No, it's not actually all work and no play because uh, when you're with friends. Hmm. Everything is a play. <laughs> so studying, competing, solving questions like "Mera pehle ho gaya," and these things are fun too. And so, uh, we also uh, took time to watch movies. I mean, after we had tests on alternate Sundays, hmm. so after every test, we went to watch movies uh, in the city mall there, okay. and we generally played cricket and football sometimes in our holidays. So it's not like all work and no play. I mean, right. it's. Uh, Hard find that balance, I would imagine. That, yeah, it, it's know. harder work. More studies in the uh, rest of the places, but no play is uh, yeah, not correct. Yeah, it was impossible. Okay, that's that's a big relief, I would imagine, to many. But what has the whole IIT experience been like for you so far? The maximum pressure is of balancing between the extracurriculars and academics. Hmm. Those who do not get involved in extracurriculars, they hmm. um, they do pretty well in these things. But those who Strike the balance between uh, yes. co-curriculars and academics. They do better than those who are right. doing only Life academics. Life is all about balance and sort of doing more than just one thing. Yeah. What next, Shandan? What what after another three years? What, what what's the plan? What do you have in mind? I think I'll be uh, doing a job in 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 my core branch that is computer science. Mm -hmm. So uh, somewhere in what I dream of is being in Google or Facebook. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, doing some job, a pretty good job, and then right. after a few years, I want uh, to get to open my new company, and uh, if possible, in cyber security. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, all the very best, Chandran, and I'm, I'm you. sure you will be able to realize your dreams. And thanks so much for taking our time to speak to us. Thank thanks you. very much for joining us on the program. Now joined by our expert, Mahesh Perry, he's the chairman and publisher of Careers 360. Mahesh, why does India produce so many engineers? Where, where, where do they go? Do we produce more engineers than anywhere in the world? Yes, we, we, we are the largest producers of engineers in the, in the world. But having said that, we need them. You look at, you know, we are growing in services, mm -hmm. we are growing on hospitality, we are growing on, uh, you know, on the civil or the mechanical or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. The manufacturing hubs are growing. Mm -hmm. So we need engineers. Mm -hmm. The only thing that we need to work on is how do we make them a bit more employable. Well, let's get started right up. The, one of the big things, of course, has, has been the fact that you cannot neglect your board exams anymore. It's, it's caused just so much uh, uh, heartburn, uh, as it were, to not neglect your board exam, which you, you, you could do earlier. So why is there so much protest about it? The thing is, a student who goes through a, pro a proper 11th and 12th class standard, you know, he's a bit more rounded than mm. a, a guy who oh. cracks the examination in, right. in a JE. Right. A single day should not determine our, our life right. is what we always say. So there has to be a wait for what you've done in the academic I pursuit, see. at least at the 11th and 12th class level. And so it's right. very important, mm. very crucial, and it will help the student in the longer run. The other big talking point on this has always been the online versus the offline exam. And, and you, you, know, you, you hear pros and cons on either side, those who've taken one, Say, so, you know, the other is better, my friend who did the other had the advantage and vice versa. Is that true? Is, is, is it true? I mean, aren't they both at par? They're on par. Mm. Uh, uh, but having said that, you know, personally, if you ask me, I'll always prefer an online examination because the chances of mistakes would come down dramatically. There is, there is a bro proper scalability. The, there is a better normalization and so on and so forth. Having said that, you know, there was one bad thing that happened last year where there was a power outage, the, the, the computers right. conked off and right, all. Right. So the student typically, he, 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 he's lost for words at that point in time. He's right. very nervous even otherwise when he's getting mm. into an examination hall. Mm. And he's always worried of the repetition. Mm. But having said that, given an option, you know, I would always go for an online examination. I see. But this is the first year, rather the last two years, the number of applicants for online examination has been coming down because there seems to be a fear factor in the students' minds. For example, the, the CBSE has said that they've reduced the number of, uh, you know, uh, centers, uh, mm. uh, you know, they actually have online centers in, in Delhi and all, and they don't have offline centers. The students I from see. Delhi go to offline, which is they go to Faridabad and Gurgaon and take the examination. They seem to be preferring mm. an offline mode because it's a bit more tested, it's a bit more tried, right. and right. they feel a bit more comfortable with the whole thing. In fact, you've answered the first question, which was just this, the student saying that I filled in for the online format. My friends have gone, have I, have I made a mistake? And talking about the same system failure, the park cuts which were reported at some centers last year. But of course, that's 
I can imagine as a student being really concerned when you hear Absolutely. things like this. You, you don't want to lose out on that's this right, big day right. because, I mean, although you're saying that one day shouldn't determine, but, you know, I, it is still a very big day. It, it, it is a big day, but this is one-off situation, you know, it doesn't, yeah, repeat, it doesn't itself. repeat itself. So you, should, you can't, you know, take decisions based on, on the 1% chance that something might go wrong. Right. Uh, and if you are uh, a student sitting in the cities and all, metros, and if you're a good student, the online examination will be a true representation of what you right. are then and possibly an offline examination. Here's another one. I've applied for an offline exam. I feel students giving the online exam on later dates will benefit as the paper pattern and question type will be known to them in advance. Not really. This is again uh, a misconception in a lot of students. This is how, you know, uh, uh, the word spreads. But it is not the case because neither the question nor the pattern would be repeated. I see. The CBSE has enough bank of questions to okay. ensure that okay. no student so okay. gains because he's taken the second level or uh, second I slot see. or the third slot or the fourth slot. I In see. fact, on for each examination, like uh, JE has four uh, slots. For each slot, they actually go through a normalization on a daily basis to understand whether statistically they are all on the right track. Right. So nothing would benefit a student because you're taking the fourth slot than the first slot or vice versa. It's not just good enough to crack the exam, get into a top institute, but you, you need a lot more. And when you're out there in the job market, you need to prove yourself every day. As, as we just heard Absolutely. there, expectations that are great expectations. You know, the thing is, Natasha, we must all remember, and I say this to many B schools and engineering college students, that once you're in the job market and once you get into a job, the IIT and a hundredth ranked engineering college student, mm. if they get into a job, mm. it's your performance at the job, job that will that, speak right. and not uh, right. where you came from. Right. Today, no one asked me where I came from. I'm a chartered accountant. Yeah. I'm a publisher. Right. How does it relate? Right. So at any point in time, it's a battle that you have to win, win each single day. Right. And that would not be determined by what you were or what your qualification was. Right. Don't get complacent. Remember, you have to really prove yourself every day once you're in the job market for after it just Believe me, it never ends. Yeah. Well, uh, that's it then. Mahesh, thanks very much uh, for taking time out uh, to speak to us. Well, on that note, we're slipping into a quick break. Coming up after that, uh, how you can chat securely online on your favourite topic. No more talk to strangers and it's completely safe. Coming up right after the break.